Hi guys, today we've got a Mercedes E-Class that I'm actually gonna be working on it with Ryan and we're gonna be fixing some problems with the car. The car has already had a system in it already, but it sounds mm, not too great. So to start off with, we've got to plan out what we're up to. So excuse my bad, handwriting, Mercedes E-Class. Some of the problems that we've got currently is sounds flat, uh, base is too heavy. We'll work out the rest as we go. So they're kind of the fundamental flaws. So first thing we've got to do is an inspection and then we're gonna plug in our laptop and then actually go through and see what is going on with the current system. So this is basically getting a better understanding about what's in the system currently. The reason why we're doing this at this stage early on is to understand exactly what's actually in the car currently. Uh, right, do you want just starting up the car for us? Cool, so that's now, as soon as the vehicle's been started up, that's now loading up. So this is the car as we've got it. So it, at the moment they're running master. So on these Mercedes, you could have coded them to have an optical signal and run optical signal in. However, they've picked up high level, which is not a problem. A couple of things here. So we've got a three-way front end. So that's what's playing. So a fully active three-way front end. So you've got a tweeter, a four uh, or a three inch mid. We'll find out when we take the door off and then mid-base drivers. On the Mercedes platform, the mid-base driver is underneath the footwell, which will check and inspect and show you. We're not changing them uh, at this stage. We just think that, that they're not playing correctly because of the tuning which we'll go through later as you can see here they're running pretty much everything on full uh, which is the kind of the gain control as such so we'll be adjusting that changing that around because that's not probably the best for the acoustics in the car I mean they've got their filters set pretty much correctly uh, in terms of the thing but I probably wouldn't be running at the moment it sounds pretty boomy so yeah there's quite a few massive massive peaks and troughs here so we'll really go into a bit of the analysis about that but that's basically the, what we've got in the car now we understand that it's now time to uh, strip the front doors down and work out what's going on in there so we're using all eight channels here of the system so this is the fact this is the way the previous installer set the system up one two three four five six so that's a fully active front end seven eight and going into crossovers for the rear uh, rear speakers so that's the that's the current setup so we probably will end up sticking with that but these two uh, so far as we're aware these are currently stock speakers these are the uh, prima eight inch which are actually really really good if they're installed correctly and also if they are mounted correctly and just set up correctly so that we're keeping with because that's generally what we put into these as well however these two we're going to find out very soon but currently i believe they're a match speaker uh, so once we get that door card off we'll know a little bit more and then these are going to be changed to the rainbow set So we've got the speakers out, so now let's compare. So they're the match set, and now to unbox the new rainbow set. So we can already feel the difference there, but they're the tweeters. So that's kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. They still have to be a similar size, obviously they've got to go into stock location, but just tell the difference there on size of that magnet. Really impressive. So they're, the, they're gonna sound a hell of a lot better. And then the tweeter again, you can see the size difference still. So this has a plastic housing around it, whereas that's full metal housing around it. So these are the MPE 4.2s. They're gonna sound a hell of a lot better. That's the new set, time to get them in. So I'm pretty much done on this door card. Obviously you can see a lot more soundproofing actually being applied to the door. Uh, we've also got the new rainbow speakers mounted. So these are soldered, heat shrunk, and then cloth taped all nice and neatly. And what we've done is modified the factory, uh, the rainbow uh, crossovers and then reuse that plug. So we're just gonna go straight into the factory connector. So it's nice and easy to unplug later on. One thing that you saw earlier was these clips. So they were wobbling around all over the place. And you can see now they're really nice and solid. I'm literally moving the entire door card by just pressing that. So when these clips are in, they basically look like this. So when we put that in, You'll see, you see that, look how much movement there is there. So that's because the door card's been removed once or twice. So that's normal, you can't, you can't avoid that. Uh, luckily none of the clips were broken and like obviously we're doing, none of the clips are broken again. So what we do is just put a little bit of tape just to get rid of those rattles and 
potential vibration in there. So they're now incredibly tight. So that's all of them. Just do one final check, make sure I haven't missed any of the others. So they're all nice and tight now. So this door card is now ready to go back on. So inside the door, this we've still got more soundproofing to apply. Like we've just on the other side, but behind here. So this was completely blank. There was no soundproofing behind here at all. The reason is because it's a pain to take out. You have to take out the glass. You have to take out all these bolts and stuff. And it, it, it is, it's more work, but we believe in doing the job to the highest possible standards. And these are a really important part of getting a car sounding right. So this deadens road noise a lot of the time. Your speaker is actually mounted to the back of the door card. Tweeters up here. So it's not as important as most cars. There's not too many sound waves hitting that back of that car, but it's still a very key area inside making a system sound good. So we've got two big sheets here and then we've applied sheets uh, all the way across and round, and then across this middle bar, all the way up to the top. So covering key areas. And this, like earlier, is now incredibly solid. So it's now time to get this panel back on, soundproof the rest of this on this side, and then speakers in, door card on, and then tuning. So now it's time to tune the system. So we're using a product called BitTune. So we've set up a couple of microphones already inside the vehicle. There's six, five microphones on the driver's seat, one down the middle. So basically how it works is it plays the speakers inside the car at a variety of different frequencies, all at the same time, and it adjusts all those imperfections to bring it as close as possible to what's called a flat response. So the BitTune software has done its thing. However, that's only an electronic tune. But let's jump in, have a bit of a listen to it and kind of add a little bit of spice to it. The Beethoven. It's a 24 minute song. So you guys are gonna have to stay with us for 24 minutes while we listen to a bit of Beethoven. So just going through changing, changing some presets around. Already it's a lot clearer than what it was before, so. Now we continue to tune it while we listen to some of the songs our client gave us to make them sound as good as possible. That sounds nice. There's a lot less heavy Yeah, yeah. Really like drummy heavy, wasn't it? Yeah. I like that. And it's hard what, it's like this, yeah, yeah. I think that depth is right. I think it's just the mid range, isn't it? Yeah. Ever so Throwing shadows in the dark. So as a bit of a recap, the car came in with pretty much no soundproofing as you saw, plus obviously those match speakers in there. So they're now being taken out, new rainbow speakers in, plus obviously fully soundproofed. So yeah, overall, I'm over the moon with the finished results. The tuning went really nicely and our client is now about to collect the car and we'll sit down and do a little bit further tuning with him just to make sure that they're over the moon as well with the finished result. But yeah, I'm all done on it. So thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.